Why do you think? Why do you think people love Kate Caitlin Clark besides her skills? She can shoot threes from logo. We never seen that before. That's my point. All right, everyone, buckle up because Shaquille O'Neal has just set off a bombshell, and it's all about Caitlin Clark again. But this time, it's on none other than Angel Reese's own podcast. Yup, Shaq, the legend himself, made it clear who he thinks is the real superstar, and let's just say it didn't sit well with Angel. This one got awkward real fast. The tension was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Angel Reese might have hoped for some friendly chatter with Shaq, maybe a little praise thrown her way, but oh boy, Shaq had a whole different agenda. It all started innocently enough. Angel welcomed Shaq onto her show, probably expecting some light talk about basketball, some playful banter, and maybe even a compliment or two about her skills. But instead, Shaq dove right into praising Caitlin Clark nonstop. From her dazzling shooting range to her impeccable vision on the court, Shaq didn't hold back. And as much as Angel tried to keep a poker face, you could practically sense the frustration bubbling up. Shaq then drops the real stinger, so why do you think people are so into Caitlin Clark? A question Angel definitely wasn't ready for. This was her moment to play it cool, maybe say something humble about how Caitlin is talented, but also that they both bring their own strengths. Instead, Angel downplays it, it's just those deep logo threes she shrugs, as if Caitlyn's entire appeal boils down to long-range shooting. Nice try, Angel, but Shaq wasn't buying it. Shaq claps back, reminding everyone that Caitlyn is far more than just a shooter. He makes sure Angel knows that Clark's game is the full package. She's not just scoring points, she's got court vision, elite passing, and the kind of game management that glues fans to their seats. And to really drive the point home, Shaq points out how Sportsbro, a respected media company, ranked Taitlin Clark higher than the likes of Ronaldo and Messi when it comes to being marketable. That's right, Messi and Ronaldo. You can imagine Angel sitting there trying to process how her podcast had turned into a Caitlin Clark appreciation show. It's hard to watch when someone gets hit with a harsh reality check, especially when it's happening live. Angel might have thought she was hosting Shaq, but it feels like Caitlin Clark is the one living rent-free in the conversation. The irony is almost painful the person Angel had hoped to bond with is now showering her rival with praise, and there's no way for Angel to steer the conversation back. To top it all off, Shaq isn't just saying these things casually, he's setting it in stone. Shaq didn't stop there, he cranked it up a notch by pulling out a massive comparison. He said Caitlin Clark reminded him of none other than Steph Curry. Yes, you heard that right. Steph, the baby-faced assassin himself, a guy who has redefined the NBA with his unparalleled shooting and changed how the game is played. Shaq explained it wasn't about Clark's height build or even her appearance. Instead, it's about the way she breaks boundaries just like Curry. Steph doesn't fit the mold of a towering athlete like LeBron James with bulging muscles and a six of frame. In fact, Shaq joked that Steph could blend into an office without anyone guessing he's an NBA superstar. Yet, when Steph steps on the court, he does things nobody thought were possible and Shaq says Caitlyn is doing the exact same thing in women's basketball. You could see the disbelief on Angel's face. Shaq wasn't just complimenting Caitlyn, he was placing her in the same league as one of the greatest shooters the sport has ever seen, and for Angel that comparison stung. She's sitting there, processing the fact that the man she invited onto her podcast is handing out standing ovations to her biggest competitor. You could almost hear her inner thoughts, isn't this supposed to be my podcast? Why does it feel like a tribute to Caitlin Clark? And Shaq didn't sugarcoat it either. He candidly admitted that at first, he didn't believe the hype around Caitlin. He even confessed he used to be a hater doubting that Clark could consistently pull off those jaw-dropping plays. But time and time again, Caitlin proved him wrong. Shaq said, if I doubt you 10 times and you make that shot 10 times, then you're the real deal. It was clear Caitlin had earned his respect. And now in Shaq's eyes, she's the ultimate game changer. Meanwhile, Angel sat there, visibly struggling to keep her cool. Imagine inviting a basketball legend onto your show only for them to publicly admit they were wrong about someone else and praise that person to the skies. That's exactly what was happening, and the whole thing felt like a live mic drop right in Angel's lap. Shaq wasn't just talking, he was letting the entire world know that Caitlin Clark isn't just talented, she's on a whole different level. Shaq even doubled down, saying Caitlyn wasn't just good at hitting threes her entire game was revolutionary, he called her court awareness next level, with the ability to see plays unfold before they even happen. She's not just playing the game, she's rewriting the rulebook, Shaq said. And that's exactly why fans are obsessed with her, because Caitlyn is elevating women's basketball in ways no one has seen before.
Shaq continued, unapologetically piling on more praise for Caitlin Clark, saying that she isn't just someone who excels, she's setting a whole new bar for the sport. According to him, Caitlin's skills aren't limited to her shooting or court vision, her presence commands attention, and she brings a magnetic energy that fills arenas. Fans don't just watch her, they are invested in her journey, eagerly following every step she takes on the court. And Shaq made it very clear Caitlin is redefining women's basketball. Whether Angel liked it or not, the message was out there for everyone to hear. At this point, Angel Reese must have felt trapped. Her own mentor, a basketball legend, was openly validating everything the media and analysts had been saying about Caitlin. Meanwhile, Angel had been struggling to get her game noticed for more than just flashy plays. And to make matters worse, Shaq's words cut even deeper, because Angel herself had recently admitted that her basketball salary isn't even enough to cover her rent. The irony was painfully clear Caitlin Clark, the very person Angel viewed as a competitor, was now being credited with raising the profile of women's basketball to unprecedented heights even to the point where Angel was indirectly benefiting from it. Shaq's jokes didn't help either. He teased that if Caitlin was going to keep generating this much buzz, Angel might as well ask her for a commission. She's basically paying your rent, Shaq quipped, driving the point home that Clark's popularity was boosting the entire league and Angel, by default. Even though it was said in jest, the underlying truth couldn't be ignored. Caitlin Clark was not just a rising star, she was becoming the face of women's basketball, and Shaq wasn't afraid to say it right to Angel's face. Shaq wasn't done stirring the pot. He threw out yet another comparison, saying Caitlyn reminded him of a young Steph Curry, a player who wasn't supposed to be a superstar by traditional standards but shattered expectations with sheer talent and hard work. According to Shaq, Caitlyn had that same spark, that same drive to prove everyone wrong. And with each game, she continued to silence her critics just like Steph had done in the NBA. What's even more telling is how Shaq admitted that he initially doubted Caitlyn but couldn't deny her greatness any longer. He shared how, game after game, Clark kept nailing those impossible shots. If you tell me 10 times you're not going to hit that shot, and you hit it 10 times, you're the truth Shaq declared. It was a rare moment of vulnerability from the basketball legend, showing just how much Caitlin had won him over. And for Angel, sitting there and listening to her mentor admit that he had underestimated her biggest rival, it must have been gut-wrenching. What made things even worse was the public reaction. After the podcast aired, fans flooded the comments section, poking fun at Angel and wondering aloud if Shaq had just crowned Caitlin Clark the GOAT on Angel's own show. Did Shaq really come on here just to say Caitlin's the best one fan joked? Others couldn't get over how effortlessly Shaq shifted the spotlight from Angel to Caitlin, as if it was the most natural thing in the world. Shaq's words also echoed the sentiments of several other prominent sports analysts. He wasn't alone in recognizing Caitlin's impact. Big names like Stephen A., Smith, Rachel Dita, and Jason Whitlock had already been singing Clark's praises, claiming that she was attracting new fans, breaking records, and making women's basketball a must-watch sport. And Shaq's endorsement only added more weight to their opinions. What really stung for Angel was that Shaq's praise wasn't just casual, it was a full-blown endorsement. He described Caitlin as a once-in-a-generation player, someone with the talent to revolutionize the sport. Shaq emphasized that Caitlyn's influence wasn't limited to her stats, she was changing the perception of women's basketball altogether. She wasn't just another player hitting three-pointers, she was someone elevating the game to new heights, attracting attention from fans and sponsors alike. Meanwhile, Angel's own efforts were being overshadowed by Clark's meteoric rise, and Shaq made sure to point out that Caitlyn wasn't slowing down anytime soon. Even in the off-season, Clark was already grinding in the gym, sharpening her skills and preparing for the next challenge, on the other hand, Shaq didn't hold back his criticism of Angel, hinting that her focus seemed to be elsewhere. Shaq compared Angel's priorities to Caitlyn's relentless work ethic, and the contrast couldn't have been more apparent. While Clark was busy improving her game, Angel seemed more interested in fashion, social appearances, and maintaining her public image. Shaq didn't mince words when he pointed out that Angel's lack of focus was showing on the court her shooting percentages had dropped, and she had missed crucial layups throughout the season. Instead of putting in the work to address her weaknesses, Angel was spending more time on podcasts and in the public eye. Shaq even referenced one of their previous conversations, admitting that he used to be blinded by Angel's hype. He confessed that his admiration for Angel had initially kept him from recognizing Caitlyn's true potential. But over time, Clark's consistency and dedication had become impossible to ignore. 
Shaq was no longer holding back he openly admitted that Clark had proven to be the better player, and not just in terms of talent but in terms of commitment to the game. Shaq wrapped things up by saying that Caitlin Clark was destined to be a generational talent a player whose impact on women's basketball would be felt for years to come. And as much as it hurt to hear, Angel knew deep down that Shaq was only speaking the truth. His words weren't just praise they were a reality check. Caitlin wasn't just competing she was dominating, and Shaq was making it clear to the world that Clark was the future of women's basketball, no matter how much it stung Angel to hear it. In the final moments of the podcast, Shaq dropped one last truth bomb Caitlin Clark isn't just here to play, she's here to take over with that, Shaq moved on, as if the conversation had been nothing more than an honest assessment. But for Angel the damage was done, Shaq had come onto her podcast, praised her biggest rival, and made it clear that Caitlin Clark was in a league of her own. The takeaway from all of this? Shaq wasn't afraid to speak his mind. And while Angel Reese might not have liked what he had to say, the message was loud and clear Caitlin Clark is the future, and everyone including Shaq knows it. So whether fans agree or not, one thing is certain Clark's rise is unstoppable, and Angel will have to step up her game if she wants to keep up. So, what's your take on this situation? Do you think Shaq went overboard or is Caitlin Clark really the next big thing in basketball? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more hot takes and updates from the world of women's basketball. And that wraps up this explosive podcast recap. Shaquille O'Neal didn't hold anything back, making it clear to the entire world that Caitlin Clark is a force to be reckoned with a rising star redefining women's basketball. Whether you agree with Shaq or not, the message was loud and unmistakable Caitlin Clark isn't just another player in the league. She's a trailblazer, breaking records, pulling crowds, and setting a new standard that's hard to match. And the fact that Shaq laid all of this out on Angel Reese's own podcast only made the moment even more shocking and memorable. Now, the big question is where does Angel Reese go from here? It's obvious she didn't expect her mentor to come on her show and lavish so much praise on her biggest rival. This moment could be a wake-up call for Angel, a reminder that if she wants to maintain her spot among the elite, she'll have to push harder, focus on her game, and rise above the distractions. The future of women's basketball is evolving rapidly, and players like Caitlin Clark are leading the charge. If Angel wants to stay relevant and compete at the highest level, now is the time to double down on her efforts. As for Caitlin Clark, this podcast only adds to the growing buzz around her. She's already proven she can perform under pressure and elevate her teammates while captivating fans with her skill and determination. But the journey doesn't stop here. With so much attention on her now, the expectations will only get higher. Can Caitlin keep raising the bar and live up to the comparisons to Steph Curry and other greats? One thing's for sure she's already shown she's more than capable of meeting the challenge. And let's not forget Shaq's role in all of this. Love him or hate him, Shaq always tells it like it is. His words carry weight, and when he speaks, people listen. He just gave Caitlin Clark one of the biggest endorsements of her career, and he did it in the most public way possible. Whether Angel Reese likes it or not, the message is clear Caitlin is the player to watch. So what's your take on all of this? Did Shaq go too far by praising Caitlin Clark so openly on Angel Reese's podcast, or was he just being honest about what everyone else is already thinking? Do you think Angel can bounce back from this, or has Caitlyn already secured her place as the future of women's basketball? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we want to hear from you. Let us know if you think Shaq's words were spot on, or if you think Angel deserved more credit. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this breakdown and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth analysis, hot takes, and the latest updates from the world of sports. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because we've got more exciting content coming your way and you won't want to miss a thing. Until next time, keep grinding, keep hustling, and remember the game is always evolving just like the players. See you in the next one.